joined by Caleb Surratt. Caleb, into the championship 36-hole final tomorrow. Two big wins today, one up in the morning, and then a 5-3 and three victory on the uh, afternoon match. Caleb, it's just been domination for you, man. I mean, we talked about a little bit about this yesterday. 69 of the 74 holes you played, you have led. I think you've only lost seven or eight holes in that time. And you've still never trailed. And let me give you this one. Four out of your five matches to this point, you've won the second hole. What's been a, uh, key about that hole that's gotten you off to good starts? Uh, so, I mean, that, that hole just fits me really well. I feel like I've just hit some good shots on that hole. And, you know, some other players haven't. But I, I've, uh, I don't know. I, I, I didn't really realize that until just now. But, uh, you know, that, that hole has been good to me. And, you know, I've been pretty blessed to – see some of the results but uh it's all coming just as a byproduct of the hard work and determination that we're putting in out here we hear so many athletes or coaches talk about the process and just kind of staying in the moment tomorrow 36 holes against the same player um have you ever went 36 holes against one particular guy and and if so kind of take me through your process uh for tomorrow I never have. It'll tomorrow will be the first time, and you know it'll be an experience like I've never had. And uh, you know we're just gonna put our head down for as long as it takes, and uh, just see what see what the results come from it. And you know it's gonna be something new, but you know everything has the first time. And uh, I hope tomorrow isn't the last. I know you said on the Golf Channel afterwards um, that you know you talked about making pars and just kind of playing, you know, smart golf. But you made your fair share of birdies out there. Um, you know. What is it about, you know, this type of golf, Lynx golf, uh, that, that suits your eye, having to play the wind, having to play strategy, having to play for the bounce? I thought, even though you didn't make the putt, I thought your your chip shot there on the last hole of, of the afternoon that, that closed it out was as crafty and nifty of a shot as maybe you hit all day. Yeah, that was uh, – I'll give Coach Webb full credit for that one. But, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, like I said, we're just going to go out there and – put in a bunch of work and you know i've i've shifted my focus to making a bunch of pars but what that's doing is it's really just giving me more looks and then you as you know you know the more looks the more the more chances you have and the more chances usually the more times you make a birdie so i feel like i'm just trying to get myself in play where i need to be and then when i have the birdie look then i'm trying to make the birdie look but up until that point it's all about just being where we need to be regardless of what the other player is doing you seem to be um, getting in position because you're you've been driving it so well. They talked about that on the broadcast. You smoked several drives and you know just you know found the short grass. How much confidence are you do you have in your driver right now? I do. I love it. Um, I'm. I feel like I'm swinging it really well, and you know, hopefully, I swing it the same way tomorrow. And the fairway, the fairways out here are pretty wide, but you know, when when it's blowing 40 miles per hour off the left or something, it you know, the fairway's not as wide as it normally is. So um, I definitely find confidence in that. And it's something that I'm really going to try and keep the momentum going on tomorrow early and, uh, you know, just, just keep swinging it well. I feel like uh, I haven't really changed anything. I'm really just swinging it like I would on the range at Tennessee, you know, so nothing's nothing's changing and it's just it's just the way I move. Well, good luck tomorrow. And hopefully uh, we're doing this uh, tomorrow night with a medal around your neck, okay? All right. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks, Caleb.